guys, welcome back to Miss Ella's World. It's your girl Maniola here with another video for you guys today. Um, today's video is very, very personal, and it's been a long time coming when I tell you no one knows, literally no one but God knows what I went through during this process and um just how I felt and everything happened in my life recently for a reason. Like and God was just showing me that. Um, so today I'm just going to be talking about my acceptance into the University of Maryland Robert H. Smith Business School. So I'm just going to talk about like my journey and I just want to really encourage somebody today on like just knowing whatever God has for you, it is yours. Don't ever doubt yourself. Don't ever second guess yourself. And though that's second nature and it happens quite naturally, don't do it. Like that's how the devil starts to come in and make you feel like what you have is not yours. And you know, God says whatever the devil took, he's going to bring, give you a double portion. And that's literally what God did for me. God, he gave me what I lost and more. <laughs> it was crazy, but I'm just going to start talking about my journey, where I started, and you know how I ended. So without further ado, let's get started, guys. Alright, so I'm just going to start basically my freshman year in college. I was um, a registered or declared, sorry, I was a declared um, kinesiology major. Now, if anyone knows what kinesiology means, kinesiology is a study of the movement of the body, basically in the School of Public Health, and that's a science. Um, so I had a lot of sciences and health classes. So just, just pull the story together real quick, from kinesiology to business. Even though I had some mixed stuff in the mix, let me tell y'all, none of it was for me. I think it was my freshman year um maybe towards the end of my first semester when i had talked to like one of my mentors um from like way back well mentor friend type of person um his name was abib and i was talking about like what i wanted to do and how like i kind of wanted to do kinesiology first and then you know get the money from kines and then you know go to school for business and then you know get my own business established and eventually build a fortune 500. He was like, why are you taking the long way? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, you need money to do all this stuff. He was like, but you have God. And I was like, whoa. And it was just, it was really amazing to me because it was true. Like, um, and it is true. And I just started thinking like, God, this journey like that you had me on, what is the purpose of me being here? I was not interested in sciences. I hated it. Like, I didn't hate it in high school. Like, I did everything in high school. But when I got to college, I hated it. So, fast forward a little bit. I just started thinking and like, okay, maybe I should change my major. And I started praying about it and stuff like that. And it was just like God was showing me so many signs. Even before I had talked to Abib, God was showing me so many signs that I should do business. But it was like I was so scared. I was so scared because if anyone knows, like University of Maryland's business school is the hardest school to get into in this campus. And I basically, what the world would say is I wasn't qualified at all. Um, there's so many processes that goes into being considered even a candidate for the business school. And it took two years two years you guys for me to even apply to the business school i'm a junior i just got into the business school and it took two years and i was asking god like what is going on and if i'm going to explain to you guys what happened during my journey to even make me to even make me make this video to even make me encourage you guys to even make you make me share my story because it is a powerful one and like God has given us testimony so we can share and encourage others um, just to believe in the power of God and just to have faith in, in what he says he's going to do and what he says he's going to bring to pass. So after that, I just started um, considering changing my major and I went to the Office of Letters and Sciences and I declared um, an undecided major and that just meant that I'm, I was in the school of LTSC um, and 
I didn't have like solid classes. So what classes I was taking was going towards the business school. So for example, I was taking accounting, I was taking um, classes for my minor, which is public leadership. I was taking econ, I was taking all those sorts of classes for real, um, going into my um, sophomore year because I had gone to the office of LTSC my second semester of freshman year when I was still declared kinesiology and God literally even in that process like I avoided a lot of stumbling blocks that a lot of my peers had to go through I didn't have to take the bio I didn't have to take chem I didn't have to take all these crazy things that all everyone was taking their freshman year because I um I was transitioning out of the school even though I was still in the school and I had basically failed the benchmarks and I had to reapply to the school I just you know started trickling out took whatever classes I needed to take and that was it but I had did good in kinesiology like I had a 3.2 like which is decent here and um, I was doing good in kinesiology I just wasn't interested I hated going in class I hated everything about it for real for real so for my first semester sophomore year, I was undecided and I was taking accounting and I was also taking um, some other math courses such as math, um, um, algebra and all this like some other math stuff I was taking and I was struggling so much with accounting. I was struggling so much like I had friends in my class, my roommate now Miriam, she was in my class. I had friends in that class and even like me meeting Miriam was um, the summer before when I had taken some classes this summer for the business school and um, it was just life-changing honestly because she came at at the right time but it was like God didn't want me to finish that class at the right time like she knew everything she was doing like she was helping me in accounting and I would I would know the stuff before the test and that I would fail the test and I'm like God God, I know this is your plan for me. Like, I knew God wanted me to be in business. I knew it. I, I've always known it, but I had a lot of doubt. Um, and I'm like, God, this is your plan for me. Why am I failing these classes? I'm studying. I'm doing, you know, I'm putting in the effort. You know, faith without works is dead. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, and I'm failing these classes. Um, so I, I ended up having to drop the class. So I didn't get a F on my transcript for failure. Um, I dropped the class. And that put me back a whole year. I was so sad. I was so sad. I would cry um, just because, like, I didn't know where my path was going. And, you know, me, when people look at me, they look at me and think I have it all together. But that two years of my life was the hardest two years of my life. Um, just the waiting period. The waiting period is such a period of patience it's supposed to breed patience it's supposed to breed trust um companionship and everything but i was very doubtful i was very insecure i was very ashamed that i wasn't in a declared major but i didn't let the world see that i just let god see that um i just i i put on his armor every day when i walked out like oh i'm already in the business school like and that's what i would say to myself i'm like oh my business my major is international business my major is international business like every time i would just say my major is international business and i wouldn't second guess it i wouldn't make people think that i was lying or anything and it wasn't even a thing of lying it was a thing of speaking it into existence every single time because since i was undeclared it was like there's no mate there's you can't be an undeclared major so i would say oh i'm international business and I was just speaking into this every single day, every single day. And after I had dropped that class, it just seemed like everything was going downhill for me in terms of applying to the business school and everything. And I started talking to business advisors and um, my counselor at the time was in the school of LTSC and just the negative and atrocious comments that I would get like, um, yeah, your application is not competitive. I would, if I were you, I would definitely look for an alternative route. Um, they're not really considering people who are not above and beyond. And I'm like, I know God created me fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm above and beyond anything you can ever imagine. Like it was, it was nothing of, um, positivity for real. Just like you can apply if you want to, but you're most likely not going to get in. And I heard that several times. And as a human being, as a person in general, hearing that keeps you down. And it's people 
in this school that are supposed to be helping you who are telling you you can't do it granted like i said the world would say i, w I wasn't competitive like i had a 3.1 gpa like i was not competitive and the class i had just dropped if you drop one class and try and you're trying to get into a um uh a major that's like hard to get into you have one more chance to take that class and if you fail you cannot go into that school at all you can't even apply for the school and i was like god i literally had to drop this class so it wouldn't mess up my gpa so it was like i was starting all over again and so i ended up taking the class my second semester sophomore year and when i tell you guys it was like oh my god i knew everything for that class and it was just like god sent me to that class for a reason i'm gonna tell you why my ta shout out to you erica if you ever watch this shout out to you god you don't and i would always tell you thank you but you don't understand you really don't understand like you allowed god to use you in my life my ta erica um she was literally a blessing from god for me um god sent her for me specifically i know he sent her for me um to all to align my path with um what he has for me so my ta in accounting the the previous semester was trash she didn't know what she was talking about she never knew what she was doing on the board she would confuse me and i would be like i know this stuff and i'm getting confused and i'm getting confused my ta erica took her time to teach everything every single class she had powerpoints prepared she helped me with my quizzes i would go to her office hours she would specifically tell me what to do here here and here she was telling me to remember this formula for the um exam she would just go above and beyond what a ta is supposed to do what a teacher does my ta was doing what a teacher was is supposed to do my ta did and it was just it was so crazy because she didn't understand the gravity of her doing all this stuff for me she didn't get it but i was just so grateful i would pray for her i would tell god like thank you so much for erica thank you so much for erica thank you so much for erica and that's just one person in the path god god just started dropping people in my path just dropping people dropping people when me i'm doing worried worried and scared and all this stuff god just started dropping people in my path and i'm just like okay for so my ta so I ended up passing a class. I didn't even pass the class with like a good grade, like a great grade. I passed the class with a regular C. And I was like, God, so I retook this class to get a C? I don't think so. Um, so I ended up getting a C. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to take it. It is what it is. And my TA was just encouraging me. She was like, girl, don't worry about it. Like, some there's some people fail classes every single time like i've never failed a class before as long as i've been at university of maryland never failed a class um and i was like okay it is what it is on to the next step you guys it's a, the semester second semester of my sophomore year was coming to a close right i'm thinking i'm about to get a bomb gpa two of my teachers basically stumble blockers um enemies of progress honestly um gave me 89s they gave me 89s and it i deserved an a and this teacher specifically who i'm talking about she was just mean like i always did my work i always went to her class i always did all the things i was supposed to do but she was just evil period blank point blank she was just evil and I told her, I was like, I have an 89.96. Why don't I have an A in this class? And she was just like, um, oh yeah, we don't round all this stuff. I'm like, but your department rounds. She was like, oh no, you can bring it up with the de department chair. And if you like all this, other, all this jibber jabber, jibber jabber. And I didn't have time for it. I was like, okay. I went on. I ended up getting two C's that semester, two A's and a B in that class. Or two, one A and two B's. And I ended up getting a 2.8 um, grade. And when I tell you it brought my GPA to a 2.96, six, a two, it brought my GPA down to a 2.96, I cried so much. I cried so much. Like, no one knew how much I cried. Like, I think I even, and I don't like crying in front of people, like, at all. That's, I don't do that. But I cried so much in front of my, um, my choir group called relentless and they're all like my friends and i 
cried so much. I was telling them, like, they knew the process kind of, like, how I was, you know, trying to apply to the business school and all this other stuff. And I just told them, like, it just seems like I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And then I fall ten times backwards. And I'm like, God, what is this? Like, what is this? I was crying at practice. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm giving up. I'm going to major in econ. I'm going to major in all this stuff. And, like, they were just encouraging me. Like, whatever God has for you is for you. And you have to believe it. Speak it into your life. Speak it into existence. So I didn't – and that's just – that's three situations that could have kept me down somebody talking bad about me, me failing accounting the first time, and then me getting a 2.8 um, GPA for my second semester um, sophomore year. And that ended up bringing my GPA to 2.96. In order to apply for the business school, you have to have a 3.0, and that's the minimum. You're not considered competitive in the business school unless you have 3.5. I had a 3.0, I had a 3.1 that dropped to a, a 2.96. So, me I really wanted to give up I'm not even about to hold you I was like god what is this I'm not declared I'm about to be a junior I'm not like what 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 are you doing you're you're shaking me around that's how I felt and I would like talk to god I would write in my journal be like god I'm sorry for this I'm god I'm doing this and it's like and the Holy Spirit was telling me, it's like, it's not because of your righteousness that I deserve, you deserve what I have for you. It's not because of that. It's because I know the plans that I have for you, plans for me to prosper and all these other things. And I'm just like, okay, God, I know that, but it's taking too long. Like it's taking too long. It's just, and God was like, God said to me, I don't work in time. And that's when it hit me like, Amanila or Amaniola, you need to be patient. Like. You need to be patient with God. Like, you need to be patient with God that he knows the plans that he has for me. I cannot comprehend it. Like, even the smartest human being cannot comprehend God, the level of thought from God. Einstein is the dumbest thought of God, and God doesn't have dumb thoughts. And I was just like, you have to be patient. So I ended up having to take classes over the summer, mind you, which I had to pay for. And I honestly, honestly couldn't afford um, because I pay rent. Like, I just, I do a lot of stuff, and I just couldn't afford it, honestly speaking. So, I ended up having to pay for it, taking two classes just to boost my GPA, and I ended up getting two A's out of those classes, and I met some really dope professors, and it was for my minor, public leadership, um, that I ended up taking the classes. So, the credits counted towards something. Um, then, I come back to school, you know, my GPA is now three point. 3.096 it had increased over the summer um and over the summer I also went to a summer trip for my um my church's youth program I was a chaperone and I had seen um minister Olu who I basically grew up on and we we've always been in the same vicinity type stuff but we never really connected we never really um talked about other stuff besides like god and he had graduated from the um maryland the school the robert h smith school of business and he was just telling me he was like you're gonna get in you're gonna get in i'm like looking at him like okay i'm gonna get in i'm gonna get in whatever and he was like, I'm going to connect you with this person, that person, this person, that person. And I'm like, yes, bring them to me. Bring them to me. And it was just like, we would always talk. And then he like, um, he helped me with my resume building and told me like how to change it. And I even thought I had one of the, you know, great resume type stuff. And I was good at resumes. And he was just like, you need to do this. You're good here. You're good here. But you need to add that. You need to showcase what you did here. You need to. And I'm just like. God is just sending all these people in my life, like literally step, 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 step. Every step I was taking, God was sending somebody else in my life to help me. Like it was amazing. And he, he literally helped me for like two months after the summer trip. And summer trip was in the beginning of August when I had finished those summer classes. And, um, like I said, my GPA ended up going up to 3.096. And I was telling him, I was like, I didn't do so hot in these little classes that they wanted for me. And the classes that they required was business stat, accounting, and then um, math 120, which is just calculus. And I was like, okay, like, I got two Bs and a C in these classes. Let me tell you, like, I wasn't doing too hot. And I was like, I'm not competitive. I'm not seeing competitive at all. And he was like, don't worry, don't worry. It's okay. Everything that's for you will be for you. And I kept hearing that same 
same phrase for my friends like one of my friends told me would always constantly say that like she's like whatever's for you is going to be for you whatever's for you is going to be for you whatever's for you is going to be for you i'm like i'm listening to y'all i'm listening to y'all but whatever and then all of a sudden i um illuminate um his name is olu he puts me in contact with this lady in the business school called miss Jeanette, and miss Jeanette like she is the undergraduate admissions advi admissions advisor for the business school and she like i guess helps with the process of um bringing people into the business school and all that stuff Miss Jeanette was sent from god and god used olu to send her to me and it was just amazing like she's such a beautiful person even when i first walked in the room she was complimenting my hair she was like you're so beautiful and all this stuff and i'm just like okay okay god okay god i see i see you're sending me people i see you're sending me people and she really helped me and even she she was just like okay baby girl like we gotta weigh our options you know and she was trying to help me and trying to make me see like um what path is good for me and all this stuff and she even was saying like you're not considered competitive but we're gonna do what we can do to get you into a business program a business school so she even looked at other options at um umd shady girls business program which is not a direct um a direct cohort of the smith school but it is a business school and she was like it's you're still gonna graduate from the university of maryland so let's look into this just as an alternative i'm not saying that's where you're gonna go but i'm just saying let's look at like she literally broke everything down that my other advisor should have broke down for me and told me and she even put me in contact with this man named luke glasgow and mr glasgow was helpful for a little bit and he just told me basically that I, after this semester, after my junior year, um, the first semester, I would be considered a senior. So I wouldn't even be able to apply for that program. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and I'm like, God is just making making all the decisions more narrower and narrower and narrower every single time. So imagine, I had two options. I had the Smith School and then Shady Grove. Shady Grove was the easiest option because I could definitely get into that school. And then all of a sudden, God takes it off the plate and they were like, no. You're about to be a senior. You can't apply to the Shady Grove program because Shady Grove requires you to be in there for another two years. I said, what? I'm not graduating a super, super senior. That's not happening. I don't even have money to be a super, super senior. And I was just like, God, what is this? I said, God, this is something that most people honestly would have given up. And I wanted to give up. I really did. I was tired of fighting. I was tired of, you know, crying. And I was tired of, I was just tired of a lot of it. And I had people who were there for me. My mom would always pray for me. And she's like, she would say, Omanila, when are you getting into the business school? Omanila, when are you getting into the business school? I said, Mommy, ask God. Just pray for me. Just pray for me. So fast forwarding, um, I would be talking to like my friends and stuff. Friends who I took that previous accounting with the first semester. I was talking to them. These people had higher GPAs than me. These people were qualified in the eyes of University of Maryland. And they did not get into the business school. So that started to scare me. And I'm like, God, like these people are not getting into the business school. And then I kept hearing, what is for you is for you. What is for you is for you. Don't compare your journey to other people's journey. Don't compare your journey to other people's journey. Is what kept ringing in my ears every single time. And I'm like, okay, Jesus, I'm going to trust you. And that's what I told him. I said, I'm going to trust you. I said, I can't do this alone. I really can't. I'm losing my mind, honestly speaking. I'm stressed out. I have to work all the time. I have to do this. I have to do that. I'm stressed out, God. I need you. I need you. And it was just God was intervening on every single thing I was doing. He was intervening on my behalf the whole time. The whole time. Even when I couldn't see it. Like, I couldn't see it at all. Like, I was stressed. I couldn't see it. And... He still made a way where I thought that there was no way to be made. And he was like, I'm God. I'm God. I can do anything. I can. And no one knew that I wasn't qualified. They'd be like, oh, almost smart. Oh, almost this. Oh, um, yeah, I am those things. But regardless of it, I wasn't qualified in the eyes of these people at all. And I got into the school. And the sick part about it is that literally I got in five days after I applied. That doesn't happen. That does not happen. I got in five days after I applied to that school. And I literally applied on October 13th. I remember because the deadline was the 15th. 
and I applied October 13th. I sent that application. I was typing, 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 telling my story, telling my trials and tribulation and where I've been and where I've gone to and the businesses I own and how much I know this is for me. I wrote it in there. I said, this is, that's it. That's the only plan there is, that business school. That's it. There's no other, there's no other, you know, loop, loop that I'm supposed to be going to. That's it. And I knew it. And I wrote all that stuff down and I told them everything I went through my freshman year with depression and bad thoughts and negativity and lack of friends and everything that I went through my freshman year. And I told them in that story and um, I said, God, I'm about to send this application in. And I pressed click and I sent it in on October 13th. And literally, I got accepted into the business school on October 19th. Oh, no, I lied. I got accepted into business school that Friday. So maybe that's October 18th or something like that. And I was like, what? I said, I don't even know. I, I think I was cooking or something and I was in the kitchen. And I was um, I was finished cooking. I had called my sister on FaceTime. We were just sitting on my laptop just talking and stuff like that. And I go check my email. And mind you, I don't check my emails on Fridays. I don't have time for that. It's either I'm sleeping or I'm at work. And I was like, okay, let me check my email. All I see is um, decision on something, something. First of all, my mind wasn't processing it. I just thought it was like a school email. I clicked it. I see, congratulations. You have been next. I said, Jesus. When I tell you guys, I don't think I've ever cried so much in my life. I got on, and none of my roommates were home too. Good thing. I got on my living room floor and I bawled crying for like 20 minutes straight. I said, God, I don't deserve this. I said, God, I don't deserve this. And I just felt like God said to me, good job, my faithful servant. I've seen everything that you've done. I've seen what you, what the devil took you through. And I've seen the doubt that you had. And I saw the thoughts that you had. And I saw all the pain that you went through for these past two years. And those two years that I had confusion and I was lost and stuff, God said he's going to give it to me double portion. He's going to open doors for me double portion. He even said to me that the me getting accepted into the business school was the beginning that that was not that was nothing that was literally nothing that was just my little my little um quarter that I put in just to pay for parking that's literally what how God said it to me like that's nothing don't dwell on getting accepted into the business school be grateful and move on go do something greater than that and I'm like what I'm like shook like y'all like I'm literally shook and the Holy Spirit was just ministering me ministering to me the whole time um, when I was talking to him and I was just crying saying God I'm thank you God I thank you God I thank you God I thank you and the people who helped me who God sent to help me were the one of the first people I told I told my mom I told um, Olumide I told Miss Jeanette I told Erica and I didn't even tell you guys about Erica Erica literally put me um, put Dean Mullins on my radar like or put uh, me on Dean, Dean Mullins radar and Dean Mullins is the dean of the business school and i'm like what <laughs> huh like what's going on it was just god used people to use people to use people to use people just for me literally just for me and it was just like god thinks so much of me and i didn't think that much of myself but now i'm able to see why I went through this and just to encourage other people and now I see myself um helping other people like okay you got to do this make sure you're on top of this make sure you're talking to this person make sure you and that that's that's the spirit God wants us to have he wants us to be cheerful givers don't be stingy something that's it's not this life is not only about you this life is not only about you like God wants us to go out and help other people and that's literally what I started doing after I got accepted meanwhile the I think it was three months before that I had just tweeted or something or I said I don't remember what I said I said but I remember the date was October no I remember the date was May 18th something something I said by this time next year you guys are gonna hear my testimony and I was like it's this exact it was literally exactly three months three months that I had tweeted that tweet three months or four months or something exactly like on the the same date the 18th 
that I had gotten accepted into the big business school. And I was to go find that tweet like, what? Like when God does stuff, you are in awe. You're literally in awe. You can't fathom it. You can't understand it. You don't know why you deserve it. But he does it because he loves us. He does it because he's a good, good father. He does it because he said he would bring it to pass. And I knew God's word for me was confirmed. I already knew it. But the devil tried to send people to discourage me. People to say, you're not going to get in. I didn't get in. And all this other trash. But God helped me so much on this journey. And I just really, really, really want to encourage somebody that whatever is for you is going to be for you. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. It does not matter the corrupt thoughts that are coming to your mind, the doubt that's coming to your mind. It matters your faith in God. That's what matters, your faith in God, your faith that he'll bring what he said he's going to bring to pass. That is what matters. And I just really want to say thank you to those people that prayed for me that helped me throughout this journey, that encouraged me throughout this journey, that cried with me throughout this journey, um, that saw what God did in my life, that prayed for me, fasted with me, um, believed in me when I didn't believe in myself, honestly speaking. I had the most amazing support system. My mentor, um, Auntie Ayo, my mom, my mom, y'all, my mother, I can't even, it's it's crazy. I can't even talk about it. It's insane. She is my rock. I literally be like, Mommy, I'm going to do this. Okay. I know you're going to do good at it. Like, she didn't have no reservations. She didn't tell me to go back to kinesiology. She didn't tell me anything like that. She said, okay, I know you can do it. God be with you. That's it. That's what my mom said to me. And I did it. And she rejoiced with me. I want to thank God for Erica. She does not even know how much she's, influenced my life at all she doesn't know i want to thank god for um miss jeanette dean mullins olu my friends my my other mentor oh my god i did not even tell you guys like i just like i said there was just so many people helping me helping me helping me help me along the way i had another mentor up there who actually graduated from business school as well and she helped me so much just encouraging me telling me okay wear this wear that um do this do that and i haven't even met her in person just through communicating on um texts and stuff like that and social media she's been helping me on my journey praying for me encouraging me and all this stuff i'm just like god you're sending all these people to love on me i'm just so grateful like and i really had to share this this story with people because no one knew what I was going through like people knew details but no one knew the full story of how many times I gave up no one knew when I was declared a computer science major no one knew when I was undeclared no one knew when I didn't know what I was gonna do no one knew when I thought I was gonna fail that exam no one knew any of it no one knew when I dropped out of the class no one knew that it took me two years to get into the business school so don't even try to work in time because God is not confined to time. God is going to, what the devil took away for those two years, God's going to add back to me times two. What the devil thought he stole from me, God changed my story and made it into a humble testimony. God changed it around. He made what was mine, mine. What the devil thought he stole, God gave it to me times two. And he's going to do that and more for you. I did not mean for that to rhyme. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope it brings you joy. I am probably going to split this video into two parts. And we'll just see where it goes from there. God bless you guys. Stay encouraged. Stay dedicated. Make sure you are faithful. Make sure you pray. Make sure you love God. And make sure you're obedient. That's the most important thing. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.